Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back or welcome if you are new. I'm Tamara. Come spend a Saturday, little like late morning um, into the later afternoon. We didn't have a lot going on this day. I did need to focus on cleaning the kitchen. As you can see, it is a hot mess. It's always a hot mess. But I'm going to go ahead and get started on some brunch. It's actually like 10 o'clock by now, so we're eating a little bit later. We slept in and just had kind of a slow Saturday morning. And we're just now getting up and getting our day going. But after breakfast, I, we got some errands that we need to run. And then my goal today is just to, you know, get this kitchen cleaned up. I do need to make some bread for Sunday dinner after church we are doing um like subs and so i needed to make some italian loaves for that and then i needed to clean out the fridge where we had luke's um like birthday supper there is quite a few leftovers in the fridge that i needed to get put up in the freezer and just needed to kind of you know pull out some other things in the fridge and just kind of organize everything so that is what today's video is going to be just a little bit of a day in the life getting some stuff cleaned up we did have some errands to run but nonetheless i hope you guys enjoy and let's go ahead and get started i bet you think that i should calm down and that i'm overthinking everything about you and that we're good the way we are mm -hmm. but i don't know that much about you what things you like and what you don't it's not that long since i met you for the first time should work it out you know we should work it out before i'm too invested i should probably ask you ask you all my questions get to know you better but can you be trusted will you take me for granted and will you lock me down i know i'm feeling something for Anytime it's nice outside, we always try to eat on the back porch. And this morning it felt so good. After we had brunch, Winston got his self ready for the day. And then we went ahead and left and got our errands done. That way we could come home and not have to worry about going back out. I needed a run to the bank. We needed a run to Dollar General. And then I needed a run to Lowe's. I needed to go get more soil so I could top off my potatoes. My potatoes are growing so good. And I'm really hoping that I can have a decent harvest. If I don't get anything, I'm at least hoping that I can get a decent amount of green beans out of the garden and some potatoes. We will see. Before we headed home, we stopped in at our favorite little coffee shop and got us a drink. I absolutely love this place. And another reason why I love this place is because they have dye free options. Y'all know we try to be as dye free as possible. And, you know, I like being able to, you know, take Winston in somewhere and he can pick out what he wants. And they have several different options here. Um, I got a green tea with raspberry and blackberry. And Winston got a green tea with peach and raspberry i normally don't give him you know caffeine but you know sometimes it's just a treat um, but dye free is something that's very important to us and we try to be as dye free as possible and you know it's hard sometimes going out and you know doing those fun little treat things 
when a lot of people, you know, don't have the dye-free options. And so we've actually got a couple places that we like to go to locally here that do have dye-free options for both of us. So, you know, it's nice just to go in and get a little treat every now and then. But now that we're back home, I'm gonna go ahead and get some bread dough going in my bread machine. This is another new recipe that I was testing out. Um, so for Sunday supper, we're just doing like the big subs and we put them in the oven, you know, and heat them up. We normally do roast beef and turkey. And we used to buy these like big Italian subs at Walmart. You know, y'all know you can get them in the bakery. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to make them myself. So I tried a new recipe and you guys, another hands down, another recipe that is absolutely amazing. These were so soft these were better than the ones from Walmart in my opinion just saying I will make sure to have the recipe linked down below I did end up doing two batches of this but you guys are actually only going to see one in this video I did the second batch when I got back home after my um I had a tattoo appointment this um, night um, I finally got my new tattoo for my healing journey over the past year and a half um, so I did a second batch after I got back home from that appointment but went ahead and got that going and then now I'm gonna really just gonna focus on getting this kitchen cleaned up I had not cleaned up since Luke's birthday and it just it was a mess and it, it needed to be done plus I needed to clean this fridge out the fridge was also atrocious so we're gonna get that done and I'm just gonna really kind of just get everything cleaned up and wiped down in here and that way I don't have to worry about it later. Now it's time to tackle this fridge y'all it is jam packed <laughs> i ended up taking so we had quite a bit of cake left over 
and I didn't want that to go to waste you know I paid for that and I knew that it would still be good even if I froze it so what I did is I divided it up into like slices wrapped it in saran wrap and then I put it all in a baggie um, and we were able you know just to pull out you know we can pull out a piece at a time whenever we want it and I thought that would work out the best um, and then we had like some you know leftover taco meat leftover salsa chicken that I needed to get put in the freezer that way we could use that for you know later meals and then I had a couple packs of chicken that I needed to divide up to put in the freezer for later meals I just needed to get in here and you know clean it wasn't like it was dirty it was just a lot of stuff that needed to be cleaned up and I was actually on the phone when I was you know trying to film so I've got Luke's like go out in the car there's an extra headset I said so does this make me like an official trucker's wife if I'm wearing this headset around the house by myself <laughs> But I was able, you know, it was cool, you know, because I was able to still talk to him on the phone and I was able to film and work. And so it just all worked out for the best. But I thought that was funny. You know, I'm at the house by myself and I, you know, just walking around with a headset on. <laughs> Lost again, going back around Dreaming all the time when I get things right Lost in the shadows of a million stars Shouldn't they in my mind near and far Shouldn't they at all just tell me where you are Send a prayer if I'm out The dough is done in the bread machine, so I'm going to go ahead and get it divided out and let it sit and do its final rise. The recipe that I'm going to have linked for you guys, it has you, um, you know, like divided up into smaller, like sub size rolls, but I am just going to divide it into two and do two larger size. I ended up, like I said, I ended up doing a second batch and I did, so I have four larger sub rolls total. Um, the dough is on the stickier side. I had read the comments and said that but I didn't want to add too much flour, you know, because I wanted it to stay nice and soft. So I did just a little bit, that way I can kind of handle it. And then I just flattened it out, rolled it, shaped it, tucked in the sides, and then I just, you know, got it put on my pan. I let it sit for like 35 minutes covered on my counter and they were perfect size, they doubled. And then I just put them right in the oven and baked them. Seriously, cannot rave over this recipe. I told my sister-in-law, I was like, I'm gonna try this in my, um, like loaf pan because I think this would make really good sandwich loaves. Um, so I'm definitely going to try that. This is really, really good. As a young girl, the fields were mine. We played hide and seek for hours. Raised our shadows among the pines So offshore, playful and free Without a care in the world I was one rich little girl Daydreamer, kidnap me Take me back, all the way back No mistake. 
I feel like that took absolutely forever but I got all the dishes done I even got my cream of soup washed and put up I don't know about you but I have a really bad habit of you know canning and processing and I'll just sit everything on my counter for like a week before I get it washed and actually take it downstairs and put it up please let me know I'm not the only one uh <laughs> It will just sit, that stuff will sit on my counter forever until I finally get it washed. But I got a pitcher of tea done as well. So now I'm just going to sweep and then wait for the um, bread dough. Once it doubles and I put it in the oven to start baking, I'm going to run outside before it rains. It was about to come a monsoon this time. And so I was trying to get everything done so that way I could add some more soil to my potatoes before we got that big rain. You know, that way it can water everything in, which I did make it. But whenever I was outside, it was so dark. And so I was like, I've really got to get this done. Wanted to give you guys a garden update. We've got a few new things popping up. I noticed that I have a couple sprigs of Italian parsley that's popped up. Excited to see that. One thing with me that I've noticed starting stuff from seeds is that I have no patience. Like, you know, it can say a germination time on the thing and I'm just like, come on, let's go. Where's it at? Um, but everything seems to be doing pretty good. I just need to realize that it you know takes time to start stuff but we've got a couple things of chives popping up we've got some basil coming up we have got some sage we have got some rosemary so that's exciting all of that stuff is slowly popping up i'm excited about all of that y'all know herbs was a big one that i wanted to make sure to focus on this year and then my garden bed is doing absolutely amazing i really feel like composting in here made a world of difference you guys because that's the only thing that i've changed the off season when there wasn't anything in here i started composting in here and y'all it is absolutely amazing the peas are doing great the green beans are doing great i've got carrots that have come up and everything i'm just so excited and i still have you know a lot of room in here that i can add more stuff so that's exciting as well like may is normally when i you know start tomatoes and squash and stuff like that so we'll do all of that later the potatoes are looking great i'll continue topping those off you know as the buckets um, as those grow in the bucket you know we'll fill up those buckets with soil and then let them do their thing but i'm so excited i absolutely love being out once i got all of that done the bread was done and that was pretty much it for me it was about time for me to head to my tattoo appointment, so I needed to get everything ready for the sitter. I hope y'all enjoyed hanging out with me today, seeing part of our everyday life, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.